Hey guys, uh, the topic of this video is going to be email extraction, something I've been trying to uh, make a video about for a while, but didn't get a chance to. Um, email extracting, aka email harvesting, is a technique used by marketers um, to collect email addresses from websites to create your own unique uh, live mailing list so you can um, send mass mail. Now if you watch my other videos you'll see that I showed a video on how to mail merge and how to uh, bulk mass email um, so you can send emails to the list that you're about to learn to create right now. So most uh, email harvesting programs are uh, pri really pricey and quite expensive but I found an alternative something free and extremely um, useful and it'll be this program right here it's called Context Email Extractor. It's a project on SourceForge.net uh, it is an open source project, and uh, the URL for it is contact, uh, contactsextract.sourceforge.net. And um, I'll put the link over the description of the video. And um, you can download this program fr directly from SourceForge. It's extremely tiny. Um, it's, it's actually less than a meg. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it, it is programmed in Java, which means that you're going to need the latest Java uh, runtime files. So you go to java.com and just click on free Java download and make sure you have the latest version of Java. Java is a programming language, um, and this open source uh, project was programmed in Java. So let's go on to the, uh, to the actual action. Um, so I downloaded this program. Um, it's over here, Start Menu Programs, and it's in Contacts Explorer. And I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to choose to run this administrator, um, because Java likes when you do that. And this program is going to open any second. And here is the program right here. Um, <clears throat> the very first field is asking me what is the starting URL address. Uh, basically, this is the link which we're going to put in to start harvesting these emails that we're going to um, build a list for. So we have the Start extra Extracting button, we have the Stop Extracting button, we have the... Um, list box which all the emails will be extracted to and here we could see some stats in progress so let's try this out so let's say you're starting a, a, a new business or your boss gave you a task or you're into marketing and you need to uh, pretty much um, advertise yourself or capture some email addresses uh, and you're ready for a big mass mail so how do you go about doing that well um, let's open up uh, an address let's say uh, let's let's try. Let's say I'm I'm gonna mm, let's say I'm looking for a plumbing uh, supply. So uh, so let's type in plumbing directory. Let's say I'm selling uh, uh, plumbing supplies and I want to send a big email out to all these plumbing companies. And you see here I did try this before, um, and I have a plumbing directory, and I'm gonna put in my zip code. Um, Okay, and I'm going to do a search. And here I have all these companies over here. I actually have nine results here out of uh, 140 plumbing companies in Brooklyn, in New York, where I'm located. So I'm going to copy the address of this uh, particular um, directory, and I'm going to stick it into this program. And I'm trying to paste. Okay, it pasted. It. And I'm going to click on Start Extracting. Now what's going to happen is this program is going to begin making all these connections uh, to the website. It's going to go page by page, all on its own. You see it, it already surfed 10 pages. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to attempt to uh, harvest every single email it finds in there. So you see there's a lot of advertising uh, categories. Um, and obviously there's no emails in there. But what it's doing right now is it's actually searching page by page and it's looking for emails relating to these plumbers, plumbing supplies. So obviously the source is very important. The source where the website is with the emails is pretty much the most important thing um, that you'll have to supply yourself. I'm going to minimize this and let me look for an even better example. Um, let's go on Craigslist for a moment. It's a really, really uh, interesting uh, shot. But let's say I'm going to go to services and in services I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write plumbing or I'll write something else. Let's write um, uh, let's write in, let's look for, let's type in dentist, see what comes up. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff here, full service, immigration attorneys. It looks like there's a lot of things in here, uh, and I'm just curious whether that's going to extract. So we were unable to find anything on that directory. It seems to be a pretty crappy and worthless directory. Let's go with Craigslist uh, and click on Start Extracting. And let's see what happens. So in essence, what this program is doing in here, it's pulling all those Craigslist emails uh, from every header of every page. What this program is doing is just jumping link by link, um, and it looks to see if there is an email address in that link. And what it does is it extracts it and puts it into this um, 
list, which you'll be able to later export out uh, to a CSV, and you can open it with Excel, and you can use that with bulk mass mailing techniques. So this thing is working on this, and I'm going to let it go, and uh, let's see if we can try another link. Um, let's say you just opened your own uh, web design uh, company or computer repair company, or uh, let's say you're looking for uh, shops in uh, 11229. I'm just going to write something. Um, they're looking for corporate. We want uh, local shops. Let's see, p pizza shops and zip code 11229. Who knows? Maybe there's emails for this. And I don't think there is. This looks like just addresses. Well, we're not looking for addresses. We want email addresses. Uh, in any event, again, it all depends on the directory that you're scraping. Uh, when you scrape a directory, you got to make sure a uh, directory has really good and valid emails. You'll see here that this uh, program already scraped 78, um, 79, 80 pages from uh, Craigslist. I want to click on Stop Extracting. Um, suppose I ran this on all night long or for an hour or two. Um, now that I stop extracting, I'm going to click on the Export uh, to CSV file. And let's wait. What it's doing now, it's going to really just build the file for me. Uh, and then it's going to say, where do you want to save it? And I'm going to say, save it to my desktop. And I'm going to save it as blah. I'm going to hit no, all files. All right, save. Okay, so what should happen is on my desktop, I should have a file called blah.csv. Uh, and in that file, I should have a bunch of emails. So let's open it real quick. And let's see where it takes us. Okay, so the file opens up, and uh, as previously predicted, uh, all these emails were harvested. And the problem is, is that a lot of them are Craigslist emails. You see, I got one unique email over here, I got another unique email over here, I got another unique email here, here, and the rest are all Craigslist emails, which pretty much yeah. I have no, uh, no use for, so... Well, as you see, I, I got five genuine emails, but I'm using a really, really poor directory here. It really all depends on where it is that you're copying these emails from. But this is the beauty of this. So what would you be using a program like this for? So this kind of program is used in order to obtain email addresses from various sources. So if you have a good directory online um, that you know of that has tons of email addresses, I've had to do a couple of these myself um, on you know uh, private uh, gigs but um, if you know a place online that has a good directory and you want to shop around for email addresses what you can do is you can harvest all the email addresses from uh, these websites and you can export them to different files and you create your own mailing lists now look back into my videos and you'll see that there is a video on bulk mass um, emailing and how to bulk mass email and let's say you have a uh, you know, 500 genuine email addresses, and you're trying to shoot an offer to them, a promo, or, you know, you just uh, kind of want to either advertise or ask a question, or suppose you're creating a database of emails. So this is the right program to use. It's free of charge. Um, you know, there's tons of programs out there that they all cost money, some of them ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money, but they do many different things. But this is really, you know, a, a brick and mortar uh, kind of thing. You know exactly what you want, and this will provide it for you. So this email is going to be uh, titled uh, Tutorial um, Email Harvesting and Extraction, perhaps. I'm not even sure. But again, watch my other videos if you'd like to learn a bit more. Uh, and thank you for watching this one. I hope it helps someone out there. Thank you very much. Subscribe. And see you guys later. Bye.